Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but my tires are so delightful. Since I got a place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Hey guys, bike blogger here. On my commute home from work, studded tires. To the Schwalbe Marathon winter tires. Sure are getting some snow. They're working really well. I'm only going in a straight line though. Got a little dusting of snow, lots of ice. Big benefit of being a bike commuter is you got lots of, uh, you know, you can see everywhere. You don't have any blind spots. Sorry if you can't really hear my voice very well. I'm using a balaclava. I got my mouth covered, but not my nose, because that causes my glasses to fog, as I discussed in a past video. So I'm going pretty darn fast. I'm going uh, 18 miles per hour. There's a train coming up there. A train! Woo! The main thing you want to do when you're riding in bad conditions like this is just don't ride too fast. See, I got studded tires and maybe I could have taken that turn a little quicker. But uh, it's best to just take it easy. Don't go really fast when conditions are so bad like this. I actually sort of find this almost easier with studded tires than riding in a rainstorm. Because, you know, it's just flakes. It's just a bunch of flakes. So, okay, now we're coming up to a bridge. Could be more ice. I'm keeping a straight line. We've got more snow back here. They haven't really plowed anything back here. We only have maybe an inch of snow so far. Tomorrow morning, there might be more snow, but it also might be plowed, at least on the big roads. So sorry, uh, I'm gonna talk about studded tires. So what, uh, what are studded tires? Studded tires are tires that have a, uh, a little bit of a skid there, mainly because of the snow, not the ice. You gotta be able to get underneath the snow to get to the ice, to be able to connect with the ice, to make it worthwhile. Also got fenders on my bike. Yeah, this is what it's all about. This is why you have a winter bike. I sort of use my rain bike also as my winter bike. Except uh, my winter bike is basically just my rain bike, but with studded tires. Just take it slow. It's not a race. So what, uh, what air pressure do you run studded tires at? It depends on the tire. The recommended pressure for my tire is uh, 35 to 85 PSI. But uh, again, like I said, it does depend on the tire. I'm gonna go right here. Get on the road. Again, cars should be doing like I'm doing. That is, don't go too fast. Hazardous conditions. But yeah, the... Uh, I'm trying to stick to the non-disturbed snow. But yeah, the uh, 
pressure is anywhere between 35 and uh, 85 PSI, which is a lot. I'm running my tires at uh, 60, 65, which is still pretty darn high. I really need to be sort of slowing down a little bit. Gradually, don't hit the brakes real hard. I got disc brakes on my bike, so I don't have to deal with the problems of rim brakes or wheel brakes. I want to get way over. There's no one behind me. I'm going to go left here. There's something about the snow. It's just, you know, it's peaceful. It seems quieter. Even though I took off my balaclava, I took it off my face. My glasses are still fogging up a bit. It's because I'm stopped. Who are we waiting for? Getting a little bit of slippage because of the snow. You just gotta go slow. Just take it nice and slow. I think mainly the studded tires are having a little bit of trouble because like I said, they're for ice, they're not for snow. So hopefully, hopefully the roads aren't really snowy tomorrow morning. Hopefully they're sort of plowed. They might be in worse shape though if more people keep uh, driving on the road. We'll just stick to the big road right now. It's nice and quiet. Can't really see the lanes, so I might be getting some close passes. Things to just sort of keep in mind. Again, I'm trying not to ride in the tracks of the cars now. Oh, I'm gonna cover up my mouth. Whew, it's cold. Now I don't know if that's really right or wrong. It depends on the snow. If the snow is really, you know, like, you know, iced up, uh, then I don't know, it might work still. It's sort of funny, I'm going like, I don't know, 17 miles per hour, pretty fast for these conditions. And cars can't really go much faster without putting themselves into a lot of danger. The main thing with studded tires, you just want to aim for the ice, I think. So if there's an icy patch, maybe you want to aim for that. I don't live in a very, you know, snowy climate. We don't get many days like this. It certainly is peaceful and uh, this is what it's all about, you know. When it's really snowy, it makes winter cycling different in a good way, I think. In fact, the studded tires though, I'm way off topic here. Do you have, put a studded tire on the front and the back? Or just the front? Well, if you put it just on the front when climbing a hill like this, and maybe you're gonna stand on the pedals, you're gonna be putting more weight on the front of the bike. And so you're more likely to lose control on the rear wheel. Generally, when you lose control of the rear wheel, it's slower than the front wheel. Whew. Gotta watch out for storm drains. Now we'll go right here. Make another turn.
That's another thing. With uh, bad conditions like this in the road, not only do you got to go slower, everyone's, you know, it's not just about you. Let's make a, get in the right, left. Everyone's reaction time is slower. So, I'm gonna get in the turning line, although I can't even see the turning line. It's filled with snow here. See, my rear wheel just sort of went out there. Get it a little. I'm gonna get on some quiet residential road here in a moment. Like I said, it's pretty quiet now. More in the description below this video, of course, guys. As with all my videos, I'll sort of start in a straight line. When I get on onto my wheels, onto my <laughs> wheels, onto my pedals from a stop. Make sure my weight is to the back on the saddle. Can't stress that enough, riding in these conditions. Yeah, but again, going back when I'm off topic again, off topic, I'm just having so much fun. I'm, I'm all joyful right now. This is fun until you get hurt. Uh, air pressure. Most or tires have a recommended air pressure range. You probably want to aim for about somewhere in the middle of that range or just you know on the lower end because at lower air pressure you're going to have more control, a little more traction, more rolling resistance, but it's also going to be more comfortable. So I'd recommend that. Obviously, the bigger the tires, the lower the air pressure. But you don't want to be riding with a uh, squeak. You don't want to be riding with like a 90 psi air pressure in these conditions. It's just not. It's not there's no point because these are sort of like off-road conditions right now. So. Uh, I recommend some tires, some studded tires that have spikes on the sides uh, for turning and run a lower air pressure and uh, just take it slow. That's the main thing, just take it slow. Don't go so fast and you'll be fine. Thanks for watching.